morning upon us. We are out here in Monroe, Ohio to once again visit the Solid Rock Church to deliver a serious message and also with that message deliver a gift from one son to a father and that comes in the gift of an eternal flame of myself and I'm going to share this gift with our good Lord and friends over at the Solid Rock Church in Monroe, Ohio. I will deliver myself in the shape of an eternal flame to the lap of the Lord. Take all the way across the lake here to our Lord and Savior. It's just gonna be great. We're having a lot of fun with that. As you can see, the eternal flame is lit. touching our majesty and I'm going to place the eternal flame and uh, I feel that the true power of the Lord through my through my veins here and I think it's a lot of fun it's we're having a lot of fun with that the eternal light of Tracy is now in the hands of the Lord and I think that's a lot of fun I think that's great it's it's uh it's overpowering I'm still coming to the power of the Lord I feel the power inside of me I feel the excitement, I, see the, I feel the air of uh, the communion around me as I send my gift as a son to my Lord and Father. I feel him reaching out, touching me, and blessing me once again. And I truly appreciate that and feel that. And as I leave, as uh... Damn it, god damn it. Not a problem, let me just get that. He gets the idea. The eternal flame is not dead. It's just a little wet. And uh... As you can see, very successful. And tell you what, I'm just going to toss it in there. I'm just feeling a little overjoyed here, and uh, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Let's put this in here again for safekeeping. As I, as I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this powerful gift you've given me. in there you might think I'm out of breath from all that swimming I'm in, I'm in terrific shape professional athlete abilities but it is just the beauty that is before us that leaves me breathless not my lack of an ability of physical activity it is pardon me it's just, it's just so goddamn powerful, part of my freedom. It's just so powerful, just to be out here in front of this 
Great sculpture, it's great depiction. Uh, Leonardo, uh, Michelangelo, you name them, they couldn't build something like this. And they did. So I was Mr. Lynch. Construct this, this, this masterpiece out of uh, it was, uh, foam and fiberglass around a metal structure. But with, well, within that structure there was heart. The beating heart of Jesus Christ. It's right there in front of us. It's evidence of his place here on earth. And as he sticks his arms out and ready to embrace and encase all the souls below him. He reached out to me and he said, Tracy, he said, come, he said, come to me, Tracy. Deliver me a gift, Tracy, and I have. August 21st, 2006. August 21st, 2006, I delivered a gift. The eternal flame of myself, Tracy Maroon, has now been delivered here to Solid Rock Church, home of Jesus Christ, the largest freestanding 60 foot tall Jesus statue in the world. And as I stepped foot in that bed of liquid, I found myself filled with extreme joy. And I felt the same sort of courage and courageousness and audacious, audacious, excuse me, I'm just, my nose all plugged up with some water. But I felt, I felt the courage and the fire in my heart. Just the same as George Washington must have felt as him and Chris Columbus sailed across the Delaware into the New World, delivering the message of freedom, which lands us here in the greatest country in the world. Not just the greatest country, but the freest country in the world. The way the country allows monuments this large of the most precious Lord and Savior in the universe. I challenge you out there to find a larger, more accurately depicting image of Jesus Christ. As I swam across it with all my might, I was fighting, I was fighting the depths, and I was fighting the current, and I found his strength coming through his hands, delivered to mine, which gave me the, the all striking power to, to breath stroke through the water, through the murkiness, through the gluttony, through the sin. But as I submerged in the deep depths of the water below our Lord and friend, Jesus Christ, I found his feet, and I followed his steps. He's got shoes, he's got big ones. Actually, I have a pair of flip-flops down under there. <laughs> I'm just teasing with you. But um, he could use them because it's really wet down there. But when I found Jesus' foot, I grabbed his big toe, and he said, this little toe went to market, but you can grab this one, I'll bring you to the top. And that's exactly where he brought me. Deliver my gift to the Lord Jesus Christ right into the lap of the Lord. And I appreciate that. God, yes, I do. And as I stand here, and I face the Lord, and I say, good God, you're beautiful, sir. Raise your hands in the air to catch those fallen angels that are looking for a heads up. As you may notice, I'm holding a microphone, electronic device. Electronics and waters don't mix. Everybody knows that. That's a basic one-two mathematic problem right there. But as I hold this electronic device in this bed of Jesus' water, I find that I'm not being electrocuted by man's machine, but I'm being electrified by the power of the Lord. Most people in my place right now would be dead right now. They would be dead right now holding this electronic device in this water. But the great gift of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, this water possesses me. Oh, what is this? And it gives me the strength to speak to you, to spread the message of the Lord through these amazing cameras into the world around us. And I appreciate all the Lord has done for us. And I hope that you appreciate my message in coming here to bring it to you. As your Lord and friend and father, Tracy Maroon, God bless you. Amen. Amen. Oh, the guilt makes us afraid, so we pretend that it's so. of our land and let God fill needy hearts and we claim to know Christ personally